first heard about actuarial science through a family friend, which seems to be the most common way to hear about it, who um, suggested it, bearing in mind that I was quite good at mathematics and that style of thinking. And so it's really appealed to me, both in that it does have that mathematical background, but also in that it's very varied in what you learn about. So there's the mathematics, but there's also programming and more business-orientated aspects such as finance. But I found I really enjoyed mathematics, and actuarial was a discipline where I could really embrace that. I'd describe actuarial science as a discipline um, which involves finding out the probability of something happening, um, as well as the financial impact of it. So traditional examples include uh, insurance, uh, where actuaries are involved in the pricing of premiums, so working out how much people pay for insurance, uh, as well as reserving, which uh, essentially means w making sure insurance companies have enough money to pay out people when they claim. Uh, but in recent times, actuaries, uh, because of the uh, sort of skill set they obtain, they've moved into uh, more diverse spaces, um, for example, in investments, um, in risk management in banks, uh, as well as in uh, more data analytics and data scientist type roles. I think it's a job of the future, both because it, they're in such high demand in industry, but also because the skills you learn in it are transferable to so many other disciplines. I just chose to study at Bond University because it was the only university that was offering actual science in Queensland, but also because I really do enjoy having a very small number of students for each teacher. We're kind of spoiled the choice in terms of opportunities, so we have a lot of connections through Bond with potential employers, like the major insurers such as RACQ or Allianz, but also some data analytics companies such as Quantium. So essentially companies these days, they need people that can analyse data and then interpret it for them and explain to them how it can benefit the business, so minimise costs or make more or increase revenue. And the Actual Science Programme gives you the technical understanding to do that as well as the uh, business context to be able to explain that in a way that people can understand.